Hello and welcome to yet another video on new SSD programming. In this video we are going to continue from where we left. If you can remember very well we developed a USSD app using JavaScript in the previous video. Uh, we are going to develop this app further so that it's able to perform four functions that are in needed in programming and the first one is create a record in the database and the database that we are referring to here is the Firestore database Firebase Firestore database uh, this app will also read data from the same database it's also going to update data into the same database and finally we are going to use the app to delete data after you learn how to do this I will leave everything else to you to uh, see how you can put this knowledge into better use to come up with a more advanced USSD application that can be used in a business environment. So uh, the most important thing for you to understand now is how to do these four functions. So be careful as we move along so that uh, you don't get lost along the way. But before we get there, there are two things that we need to do. Uh, the first one is we need to uh, format our code. We are going to format our code to help us achieve that objective and also we are going to uh, integrate Firebase or Firestore with our application. Without wasting any time, now let's start doing this practically and uh, I'm, I'm sure you are going to enjoy it. So the first thing that I have to do is of course open our code editor which is visual studio code so code dot then enter and we had saved our code in this ussd file or this folder that is called ussd so we're going to go to file open folder then go to desktop ussd and then select that folder now we are inside the directory that we are supposed to work from. In any time you get a file that is developed using JavaScript or any other fr JavaScript framework, you have to come to here and check whether you can see the node modules. As you can see, there are no mod node modules here. So let's go to terminal, new terminal, and uh, we cd cd ussd and then uh, cd functions because we are working on functions here we are going to install npm so that we are able to use uh, the node package manager for the, the next steps so let's install this npm install and then enter uh, we're going to give it enough time to install as you can see the folder is already there So we just need to wait for it to install. It's going to take a few minutes uh, So I'm going to pause the video and then come back after it's installed The next thing that we need to do now is to go to Firebase The Firebase account that I had created. So I'm going to come here make sure you are logged on to the account that has the application that uh, you are we are working on mine is called ussd1 so i'm going to click on it then you go to project overview and go to project settings scroll down and check uh, you will have no app here so i'm going to create a web app here uh, in addition to this so i'm going to do app this is ios app Android app web app I'm going to call my app just ussd 
and register it you are going to get something like this after you have registered your app you're going to get this kind of code so uh, what you have to do when you get this you copy anything that is inside the script we copy it so control C to copy then come here I can close this for a minute and then uh, open our index.js and then uh, somewhere here before uh, we do anything else we are going to paste whatever we have copied here these are the settings for our new project or for the project that you're working in so that we are able to use uh, Firestore and even before we continue we need to import Firestore, Firebase first we need to import Firebase in this project so const Firebase equals require uh, then double quotes uh, it's Firebase hyphen app so we have imported Firebase app then we need also uh, we need to start using to require Firebase which is Firebase slash fire store so that we are able to save data in Firestore and then we need to declare our database here so const, const db we are going to call db uh, and here we use this Firebase that we have imported so Firebase dot Firestore and we save let's see whether there was any other step there was no other step here if you go to just the console you'll see we have created this app uh, you can get this data also by coming to here config and you as you can see this is already there so we don't need to do anything else up to that point we have integrated firestore with our app I want to put all this code into a function and I'm going to call this function function initialize app so init a function starts with an opening curry brace and ends with a closing curry brace I'm going to cut this and put it where our code ends which is here and then this code we can put it a bit further you can slant it or you can press shift alt f to format on your keyboard to format if you open we still have our code there inside a function but for a function to run you have to initialize it so this uh, we can just call it app init app init so that it makes sense so here we need to call app init so that we can initialize our app and uh, let me just explain a little bit so that you don't get lost this is not part of USSD programming this is just part of the normal JavaScript we have a function here called app init which starts from line 27 and ends on line 74 so any code that is inside here if I can remove this space 73 any code that is inside this function can only run when you call the function this means that without this without this even if you run the project the project is going to, to come here then it's going to jump all this code and come to the end where we have export this means that you have done a mistake because even export export is part of the data that should be inside the function so you should note that and now I can save it but the reason why I'm doing this is because I want to create four other functions to do our crude operations 
and let's start with a function called function read record you can give them any name but i want to give them names that are consistent with what you are doing that's an, a function we can have another function function maybe we can start with the sequence of event uh, of how we are going to do it so function uh, we're going to start with create create record next we can we can do function update record then we can do create read read then we can do function delete record in the next video now we are going to put the actual code that is supposed to go into uh, this particular sections of the video so that we can now continue programming moving forward thank you for watching the video i hope it has been informative to you let us catch up in the next video where we'll be developing code for doing crude operations on our firestore database